Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, my name is Orla. Um, and today I thought I'd show you some different ideas on how to take different styles of photos at home. So obviously we're in the middle of a pandemic, um, your Instagram feed probably isn't your top priority. But having said that, I think it's quite a nice idea to stay creative, um, it's been a big outlet for me personally. So there's going to be three categories in this video based on what I normally post about. Uh, so the first one is fashion, the second one is food, and the third one I'm going to call fun. Woohoo! We all love a bit of organised fun um, because I'm going to try some different techniques and angles and using mirrors and things that I've not normally done before. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which one was your favourite and make sure to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed filming videos at the moment and I'd love for you to, yeah, come and be a part of everything in general. Vague. So yes, let's start with number one. Okay, so I'm a bit of a magpie, I love anything gold and shiny and bejeweled and because of that I've got a lot of jewellery so I thought for this shot it'd be quite cool to do a bit of like an advanced selfie so it's just going to be of my visage, um, maybe like up to here, I'm not naked by the way I do have a bodysuit on um, and I'm just going to wear as much jewellery as I can possibly fit on um, to go for that kind of like more is more thing so this should be good um, I'm not sure exactly what jewellery I'm going to wear yet I'm just going to put it on and see how it looks but I will show you a bit of my jewellery collection so I've got all my kind of like smaller earrings there um, these are all of my hair clips and slides I've got more of my statement earrings in here um, I'm not going to be able to put too many pairs of earrings on but I've only got so many holes um, and then I've got more bracelets and necklaces and other kind of bigger earrings there then I've got some of my kind of skinnier finer necklaces here um, got a couple of chokers got a couple of long ones um, if you heard that massive sneeze in the background I do apologise it was my boyfriend Lee um, and then I've got some longer ones here so I'm just going to start piling stuff on and see how we go so we have some clips on feeling like a pearlescent goddess right now um, I might try and do it in stages so I'll take a couple of pictures like this a couple with more on just to see which ones I like best Imagine a magpie just like flies past my window and lands on my head and starts pecking my eyes out. Wouldn't that be pretty eventful? A note about selfies in general, it is personally anyway for me, it is pretty rare I'll take one or two pictures and go they look great. Like it's a lot about moving your face at certain angles and don't be disheartened if a lot of them look really bad. Um, because we've all been there. Some of them came out really cute. I've obviously got the lemon shorts that I can get rid of. I forgot to take this off the wall, which is a bit annoying. I mean, I can sort of Photoshop that out, so um, that's not too much of a problem. But yeah, like this one's nice, this one's nice, this one's nice. But then you're going to get some that you don't really like. Not a fan of that one. And don't do what I do nearly once every time I do a photo shoot just with myself and a tripod and forget to turn the camera around and take about 85 pictures of outside when you thought you'd taken really nice ones and you were smizing like Tyra Banks taught you and everything. Um, okay, so stage one over. Um, I kind of like this. I mean, would I go out in it? Maybe. I am going to go for my government mandated 30 minute walk later. So uh, maybe I'll rock this look. Um, so now I'm going to put on loads of necklaces. I think I'm going to change my body um, suit, not my body, um, to my nude one. I think that would look quite cool with just like, because it looks kind of like you're naked but for jewellery, which I think is quite cool. Um, and I'm just going to go ham. I'm just going to put loads on. I think I'm going to keep these clips in because I, I genuinely quite like it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Would you go out looking as bedazzled? Bedazzled? Would you go out looking as bedazzled as this? Let me know. And I am aware I forgot to cut the tag off my bodysuit, so uh, yeah, let's try and ignore that. Okay, I think we're ready to start taking photos. My hair's done, got my earrings in. I've got necklaces on. I've got some bracelets on, this isn't even all my bracelets, but I thought I should tone it down a little. Um, and then lots of rings. Bit of a look, I kind of love it. Well, that one took a little bit more time than I kind of wanted it to. Um, I think it'd be easier to do it on the front-facing camera, but really my front-facing camera isn't great quality. I think we definitely have a couple that I like, so I'll show you those now. Okay, so now I'm going to do um, a 
picture to kind of model this top. Um, so what I've done is put these hats up on the wall. Uh, before it was two of my beanies or like my warmer weather hats. Um, so I'm going to go for a kind of springy, summery something or other, don't really know. Um, but I'm going to give this a go and see what happens. I'm not really sure about this one. Um, okay, so this one's not really working, which is fine. I can't seem to get further away enough from the camera and the hat's kind of looking a bit funny. Um, so if I show you, this is what the not working shot kind of looks like. It's it's not bad, but yeah, I'm going to try and, you know, judge with the angles a little bit or if not, I'm going to go to the bedroom and try there. So really the key here is trying to hide the crap in the background. Um, so we're just going to kind of shove it in a corner and pretend it doesn't exist and see what we can come up with. No, I'm not on my summer holidays. I've had a cool idea for this photo. I thought I could do wear so many clothes and nothing to wear scenario. So I think we've all been there before when we're like, we've got nothing to wear. And it's it's bullshit, you have loads of clothes, but maybe you just don't know how to put them together or maybe you're like bored of them or it's that classic situation where you do in fact have a lot to wear, but you think you don't. So I think I'm gonna try and recreate a photo like that and just hold a lot of clothes. Um, we shall see. I'm gonna try stand maybe here and like block out most of it. Um, I've got my camera set up on the bed. Probably not the most hygienic, there's my bra. Um, but that's what we're gonna do and let's see how it turns out. Hi, okay, so we're gonna take some food shots. Um, I've got this set up here with a bed sheet, I'll show you in a second, that I did for a um, campaign I'm doing on Instagram. Um, and I thought, while I've got everything out and I've kind of set up the sheet and have loads of props and stuff, that I might as well take a few more photos. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I've got loads of lemons, so I'm gonna take a lemon picture. Um, have I lost my mind? Potentially. Have I got a denim tie in my hair? I do. Is that also evidence I've lost my mind? Also potentially. So excuse the carnage, I have my white bodysuit on and these cute little lemon shorts because obviously lemon um, and I have these big white hoops on but my question is, I want to put something in my hair and I know you can't answer right now but I don't know whether to go for this one that's got yellow in it but maybe it clashes a bit much with the leopard a stripy number or this long denim one, uh, I'm not sure let's ask the boyfriend uh, okay, what do you think I should have in my hair? this big denim number the, the yellow one, which might be a bit too much pattern or stripey. Here are your options. Well, what are you wearing on the bottom? This. <laughs> well, the lemon things. Yeah, it's for a lemon picture. Uh, <laughs> maybe the yellow thing. But do you not think it's too clashy? Yeah, true. Maybe this stripe one I like. Or the one that's in your hair, I don't know. Okay, that was useful. Thank you, bye. bye. Well, after all of that helpful advice, I've decided to stick with the denim. It's quite summery um, and, and, you know, uh, so I'm going to set you up over here and we're going to start taking photos. Okay, so I'm really happy with how some of those turned out. I'll show you them now. I didn't take loads, but I seem to get one I liked quite soon, which doesn't always happen. Um, and now I've got a watermelon, so I'm gonna do a similar shot with a watermelon. And what's quite fun about this idea, I can't take myself seriously with this thing. I look like um, Britney Spears circa 2000 when she did that matching outfit with Justin Timberlake. Memories. As long as you have a sheet or some type of backdrop, you can kind of do it anywhere. And our flat is a really old Spanish flat. Everything's wood. It's hardly aesthetic goals, um, but it is really effective to just put the sheet up. So let's try the watermelon one now. Okay, so this is my final outfit. I've got this pink, well, it's a straw hat with a pink ribbon on. The sun's kind of starting to go. I've got my lighting. But anyway, I've got this play suit on, which looks kind of tropical, and it's got a cute little back. And we're going to hold some watermelon and hope I don't look too maniacal. Not a word. Uh, 
Um, okay, so these are the kind of campaign ones down here, uh, but these are the lemon ones. So as you can see, I didn't have to take too many, and I got my favourite one, which was that one, I think. I can't remember. Um, an accidental burst. It's not just all people who do those. Um, and then the melon ones here. So yeah, I managed to get my favourite one. Well, these two are both my favourite here. Um, I'm going to edit this so it's also sheet. Um, but yeah, happy with those. So this is the egg I'm going to photograph. Um, I don't know if you can really see, I'll take it out of the box in a minute, but it's a chocolate Easter egg I've not eaten yet from um, Boreal, which is a vegan chocolate company here in Madrid. It's got the snitch on it, it says Harry Potter on the back, it's very cute. We're going to take this photo out in my hallway, it's a really dark gloomy day, there's no lighting anywhere, so I'm going to do my best. Um, and I'm planning on sitting on a little stool and holding the egg up like I'm catching the snitch. Yeah. Um, and then this is my outfit. Do you know what? It kind of reminds me of something I'd wear when I was a bit 15. Which on the one hand I'm not mad about it, but then on the other hand I'm kind of livid. Do you know what I mean? So, um, it's this like lilac -y, yellow, black and brown stripy top with these khaki joggers. And I chose this t-shirt because it looks like the colours of the egg. Um, so that's where, <laughs> that's where we're at right now. So I set up my uh, light and my tripod in the bathroom. Yes, that is a pink B day in the background. And then I took a few test shots before moving on to the real thing. So I'm not going to lie, that was way more stressful than I anticipated. Couldn't get my legs to do anything normal, uh, then I was out of shot, and then I took about 20 and realised it's on front facing camera, so it was taking pictures of the back of my light. But never fear, um, even though it was a pain in the arsha, uh, I think we have one usable photo out of 5 billion, um, so now it's time to sacrifice the egg. I mean, you could recreate this photo with any prop, I mean, you could hold a plant, or you could hold something um, you like, like, I don't know, some interior piece or your dog, or you could do it with anything really. I just chose this egg because, I mean, look at it. Can you see what I was going for with the outfit now? So without any further messing about, I will crack you open. It is time. We'll never say I don't do anything for you. You came here for some photo tips, um, and I've treated you all to this egg bashing. Um, got my wooden spoon, got my plate. Uh, goodbye. You've been naughty. Um, oh. Look at that. Oh, oh, look at that chocolate. She tick. Um, okay, right, so it's kind of golden hour outside right now. We don't really get much sun in this room, but the light's kind of coming in in quite a nice way. So I thought I'd set up a little corner and try and do a cute, like, off the shoulder, sitting with my cup of tea shot. Um, so I'll show you how I've set it up. Um, okay, so I've got my chair here with two pillows and a nice little plant set up. Um, I've got my tripod with my phone here. I'm going to use that cup, which actually doesn't have any drink in it, um, because I've just had a cup of coffee, as my prop. Um, and this goes to show you can kind of make a nice picture anywhere. This room at the minute is a bit of a dump. We've not managed to find washing powder the last couple of times we've gone to the shop, which means all of that there. And all of that, well actually no, not all of that, that and that are dirty washing. Underneath there's piles that we need to donate to the charity shop, which obviously we can't right now. Um, so yeah, behind the Instagram. Behind the Instagram. Um, okay, so I've set you up on the shelf and I'm going to try and take some shots. Um, okay, so I'm going to go through the shots now and see if any of them are usable. So we've taken like about 20 ish pictures um you're always going to have ones that you kind of like like this one and there's always going to be ones that you really don't like like that one don't know what i'm doing there looks like i have a big arm dong so i've used my bluetooth remote to take all of these shots um because my phone's on the tripod a tip i have is sometimes you can take pictures with a remote and manage to hide the remote quite well um, and other times if you want two of your hands in the shot or maybe it just looks a bit awkward if you're holding the remote i put the timer to about 10 seconds just to give myself enough time five seconds isn't really enough um so i can press the timer put the remote somewhere else, like in this case on the bed, and then get both hands into shot. I'll kind of show you what I mean. 
Like, if you can see, I quite like this shot. Both of my hands are in it, um, so obviously I couldn't really have the remote in that one. But say, for example, this one. Um, the remote's here and I'm trying to hide it and it looks really awkward. Like, if I have really long arms anyway, so I look kind of slender man here. Um, if I'd have put the remote on the bed and just had my hand here, it would have looked a lot less awkward. Or even example for, like, um, this one, you can kind of see it's there. I'm not a fan of that one anyway. Um... And this one it's hiding. Sorry, Lee's just talking in the background. So you can kind of see what I mean. And if you ever run out of kind of photo inspiration, I have a saved folder on my Instagram or you could do it on Pinterest with just different pictures I like that I think are cute, um, you know, different poses and things like that. Um, so yeah, you could do that and give those a go. Try and recreate something similar. Okay, so we're gonna use the big mirror I normally have on the wall over there to take some shots. Uh, annoyingly, I decided to do this just as the light's going, but we're gonna see what we can get. I've already done some, my knees feel broken, hmm. Um, but I'll show you my little setup now. So the mirror that's normally there, you can tell by the awful big line, mm. um, I've now put on the floor. Um, and I've arranged a few cute accessories. I've got my headbands, which normally live on the top of this mirror anyway. Um, I've brought through some of my plants, my diary, which I've put on the floor, a pillow. And then I've been taking some photos, basically sat here on the floor. Um, and then I'm gonna do a little outfit change and see if I can come up with a few others. So my camera battery died, so I thought I'd show you a bit of behind the scenes on this next one. I'm gonna use the mirror and try to do a me coming out of bed shot. Um, I think this is gonna be a little bit, we shall see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you some of the back. Sorry, I don't even know how to look on this thing. Hmm. Um, okay, so I've kind of opened up my bed a bit and I'm gonna shoot like this time facing this way. I've got some cute little accessory bits on the floor. Uh, so yeah, let's see how this works. Uh, so it's dark right now because I don't have my big light on, but we've got this table here that's normally folded out um, and I have like my bag on it and stuff. Normally a lot more clutter, but we've taken that away. Um, and I don't know if you can see, this is actually a birthday card um, that my mum got me a couple of years ago that I framed. So I'm going to turn that upside down and then turn all of the prints I'm about to put on the wall upside down and then sit in front of the table somehow. Okay, so this is what I've come up with. I've put three prints upside down. We haven't got frames for these, so I've had to kind of washi tape them up. Um, but it'll do, it'll do. Um, and I wanted to put my little skull-headed friend here, but I can't get him to hang upside down, so I'm gonna have to Photoshop that in kind of upside down, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, I've got my rosemary plant here. Okay, so lights on. I don't know what to wear. Um, I don't even know how I'm gonna pose or anything. We're just playing this all by ear. Um, yeah, let's see. I'm gonna get dressed in three, two, one. Let's go. It is very hot and I'm very sweaty. It's like 32 degrees today and I just, I'm melting. But the idea I had in my mind hasn't quite gone to plan, which happens, that's fine. So I'm gonna think on my feet as everything crumbles around me. Um, and I've decided, I've, desi <laughs> I've decided instead to do um, a picture where I'm not in it because I flipped the picture upside down and it just looks a little bit demonic. So. Um, so I'm just going to do it where my legs are in it, which means this makeup was a waste. And then I'm going to add or take pictures with random plants in it and then edit it in so it all looks like which way is up. So I took something like that where I was sitting down um, and then ones with my feet in. So I think what I'm going to do is crop it um, and then when I flip it upside down and then put pictures that I've just taken out of plants and stuff. I can kind of Photoshop them in there. So it's gonna be a bit of a weird, whimsical one, but it's something different anyway. Look at that, I'm being beamed up right there by some sort of alien demon. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> oh God. Well 
Uh, okay, so they were all my tips. I hope you enjoyed those. I had a lot of fun making this video um, and I hope it's been helpful for you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and follow me over on Instagram if you'd like to, where you'll be able to see these pictures in action. <laughs> um, so yes, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again around this part too. Bye.